Hello again, everyone. Edward Lurie back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Neptune, sextile or trine one's natal Uranus. Now, when you have this transit, it can manifest in dreams of inspiration, idealism, sacrifice, uh, fantasizing, and it could be in harmony with your friendships. Now, I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. Um, this is a time you know, when you have this uh, transit, okay? You may be more inspired to do things with uh, friendships and even uh, goals and aspirations um, as well. I mean, if you have your natal Uranus and Capricorn, say those goals and aspirations can include uh, information, technology, accounting, dentistry, uh, government or political work as some examples. And it's a time to, when you have this transit, where you may be more idealistic regarding your friendships, not to the point of being unrealistic, but to but where you're willing to um, accentuate and emphasize uh, the positive qualities and traits in them as opposed to uh, the negative. Some of you may wonder, well, what's you know, really the difference between you know this transit and transit Neptune making a conjunction to one's near Uranus? Well, they're very comparable. They're similar, but the difference is, of course, when you have a conjunction, it's more intensified. It's more integration. Of that energy. When you have you know, the transit Neptune, I mean, conjunctions are also neutral. They can have good and bad qualities, in them, as opposed to this, uh, when you have the sextile or trine, it's more positive. If you have um, transit Neptune, say, making a conjunction of one's navel Uranus, well, that could be, you know, in some cases, it could be about the dissolving and dissipation of friendships or your goals, your aspirations, or being overly idealistic and unrealistic regarding those matters. Where with the transit Neptune making a sextile or trying to the Uranus is where you could be idealistic and not, you know, and that's the point of unrealistic, where the attainments can be a little bit more realistic, but you have a lot of inspiration in attaining them. Now, anyway. This is also a time as well where um, you, you may be more inspired in matters and connected with groups, clubs, and organizations. If you have your natal uh, Uranus and Sagittarius, say, you know, those, those groups or clubs or organizations, they might be sports related or connected with publishing or advertising, or maybe there's some connection with even you know, a printing press operation. Um, sports, you know, anything that is Sagittarius related, foreign travel as some examples. And this is a time as well where you're willing, um, you know, it could be a time where you're willing to sacrifice uh, more for your friendships uh, in a group related matters, not necessarily overextending, but being able to just sacrifice enough where you show you know, you're like that team player, basically, you understand the team concept. Uh, regarding uh, you know, groups, organizations, and clubs, and it's also a time as well where you know this is about you know if you have dreams, you know if there's doing something Uranus related, you know, whether it could be innovation or astrology or astronomy, astronomy, aviation, some examples. This could be the time where you may have that better opportunity to make those dreams uh, manifest into a reality. In it's more of a, it's just a very positive time for that. It's a, the transit is auspicious because you're talking about you know, a positive relationship between uh, the transit of Neptune to the, um, to the natal Uranus at this time. And it's also a time you know, when you have this transit as well. You know, if you have, um, it's really more where you, you're more inspired to integrate you know, with society more. If you're a person, uh, that's been somewhat you know, isolated or very introverted, introspective, or what have you. It might be more of a time where you feel more inspiration in terms of uh, going, merging more you know, with society at this time and being able to see uh, the positive in, in society as opposed to emphasizing the negative. Now, if you have any issues you know, that are anatomically connected with Uranus, such as the ankles, the shins, calves, nerves, uh, or circulation, again, going back to being inspired, if you've been you know, procrastinating or hesitating on those issues and you've had problems with them, this is the time where you may feel more inspired to take care of those matters at this time. And, um, and the thing about 
this too is, and since Neptune is about idealism, this is about a time uh, where you might feel, you know, more you know, where you where you can work around those issues more, being more idealistic regarding those matters. If you have, you know, if there's a revocable damage to anything I described that's connected with anatomically connected with Uranus, it's a time where you may be emphasizing, you know, how you're going to work around those issues, the things that you're still able to do in spite of those difficulties at this uh, point in time, and it's also. You know, a good time, you know, I would say for innovation in general, because, you know, especially if that is your position, and that's what you do for a living, because Neptune is about imagination and Uranus is connected with innovation and ingenuity. And I would say, too, it's a time about where you know, compassion where you might be receiving, you know, the right amount of compassion or friendships or in giving it to them as well at this time. And it's also a time as well, um, you know, if you desire, you know, to have that freedom to isolate, that could be the time to do so at this time. And I would say as well, you know, when you have this transit, you know, it's about your you know, having the dreams of your, fu of your future and envisioning something realistic and making them work, at least working on that making them manifest into some kind of reality, you know, at this point in time. Um, this could also be a time as well, when you have this transit, um, this is, um, you know, Uranus is connected with the unusual, and it might be more of a time when you're willing to say, okay, you know, I'm going to, you know, have that inspiration, you know, to do something maybe that I haven't done before, or do something in you know, an unorthodox, you know, manner that hasn't been done. Um, it's, it's just, it's, it's really a positive time as well. You know, when this transit takes place, it's where you're really about, you know, Neptune is about our ideals. And I would say, you know, really, it's a good time to search, you know, for that ideal. It could be a friendship or that group you may want to join, you know, at this time. If you're somebody that hasn't, um, you know, participated, you know, in anything group related or you're somebody that's been averse to where, you know, people congregate in groups in general, this could be a positive time for being able uh, to do, you know, to do just that you know, at this point in time. And also, too, I would say, you know, as well, um, it could be a positive time for doing Neptune-related things with friendships, with groups, clubs, and organizations. Neptune-related things can include the metaphysical, which includes astrology or poetry, dancing, photography, chemistry. Um, it could be something with boating or fishing you know, as some other uh, examples. And Uranus is connected um, with things that are spontaneous and that are unpredictable um, as well. So if something happens in your life and it's, you know, disruption, it might be a time where you're not, you're more willing to say, okay, I'm willing to sacrifice this time to be able to deal with the, these situations at this time more so uh, than you ordinarily would. So, it's also uh, another way this transit can manifest, again, going back to inspiration. It could be about having that right amount of inspiration, which is Neptune, to pursue those goals and aspirations, which is Uranus. Now, let's say, for example, if Uranus is in uh, Aquarius in the 12th house in your chart, it could be doing something with you know, computers or, you know, new technology, tech labs, which is Aquarius, to the people that are less fortunate, which is the uh, 12th house. And also, too, this could be a time where dreams, which is Neptune, it could be an auspicious time for those dreams, of expressing your own uniqueness, which is Uranus. Now, let's say, for example, if the natal Uranus is in Scorpio, it could be, you know, uniqueness in locksmithing, could be designing a very unique lock, like one of those real convoluted ones that look like, looks like a maze, or it could be expressing this uniqueness in forensics, or even the occult, which includes astrology, 
Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, um, another thing, too, is that this could be a time where uh, Neptune-related people um, can be more uh, in harmony and agreement uh, with your groups, clubs, and organizations you may be involved in. When I say Neptune-related people, I'm talking about people, you know, that may be involved in poetry, dancing, and metaphysical, which means astrology. It could even be former, um, you know, ex-prisoners, people that might have been formerly um, incarcerated, you know, less fortunate people as well. And it could be, again, those people may be more in harmony and agreement with the groups, clubs, and organizations you may be involved in, and that's Uranus. Um, let's say if the natal Uranus is in Capricorn, it could be you know, government-related groups, ones associated with information technology or accounting or some business group. And it's also a time um, where it could be that positive time for escaping, which is uh, Neptune, to do something you know, unusual, you know, which is Uranus. If Uranus is in Sagittarius, maybe it's some kind of unusual sport like underwater hockey. As an example, um, it could be a time where you may be more idealistic, which is Neptune, regarding your future, um, which is Uranus. Now, if the natal Uranus is in Libra, as an example, that future may be tied in with the law or working as a diplomat or a mediator, human resources. Um, it could be fashion design, interior decoration, as some examples. Anyway, people. That will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, I will learn and say stay well.